Gurudev, I am in the peak of my sarasati. I am going through intense turmoil and churning. What advice would you have for people who are going through sarasati so they sail through it easily? Oh, yeah, don't worry. <clears throat> sarasati doesn't affect if you are in, affect you so much. Uh, if you are in the knowledge, in the spiritual path, doing some service. Sade Sati means the seven and a half years of Saturn transit. When transit Saturn, the planet Saturn transit, one cons uh, constellation before you and one constellation after yours, that is seven and a half years. This time uh, is usually considered very bad because it robs you of all your wealth and it creates uh, tension in the family, uh, your reputation gets into stake, and you know, all sorts of things. Uh, people lose their mind and get into fights which are meaningless. With all your good intentions, still everything goes wrong. That is why Sade Sati is considered that way. Uh, that is why it is called Sade Sati, the seven and a half years of time. But that is just a general notion. I tell you, Sade Sati does good also. The Prime Minister of India became a Prime Minister in his Sade Sati only. <laughs> For some people, Sade Sati does very good. And especially if you are in the spiritual path, it just helps you to uh, do something more for the society. You know, if you are so focused only on your personal stuff, Sade Sati affects you more. But if you are focused on uh, something bigger, something greater, it helps you. Sade Sati simply brings a sense of uh, distance from the entanglement, from the things you are stuck with and makes you more centered. So, rather it's the, the main effect the, um, the main intention of Saturn is to make you more dispassionate. If you are already dispassionate, Saturn only does good to you. Okay? Gurudev, Shastro mein dharam ki alag, alag And on top of all this, if anything, you feel that there oh, something, not, don't worry. Om Namah Shiva is the best mantra to chant. Sir, Om Namah Shiva includes earth, water, fire, air, ether, and the spirit, and the consciousness. Om is consciousness. Earth, Nama Shivaya, the five letter, earth, water, air, ether. That, the, the consciousness which permeates the whole universe. And that chanting 180 times, 108 times, a few times, whatever. That brings a lot of positive energy and that can shield the effect of those negativity. Huh.